So uh, today I'm doing a little taste testing here. I have three different things. One thing which I tried before, this is the smoke rings, which are absolutely amazing pickled peppers, all right? You see, elevated bread and butter peppers. This is the mild, uh, I don't know if there is actually a hot version of it, um, but the backstory on this is Rich started this, uh, this company, which is Point Blank Pepper Company, all right? And he sent this stuff out to a couple different uh, YouTubers to try out some people in the you know pepper pepper world I suppose and I've dabbled in it obviously I'm not specifically a uh, you know hot channel so to speak um, but uh, he just wanted to kind of get some feedback on his products he is not yet an official company he's working on all the business part of things working on a website working on a commercial kitchen all that kind of stuff um, you know I suppose he just like making these different products and. Friends and family enjoyed it. I'm sure someone along the way said, hey, you could probably sell this stuff. It's, it's absolutely delicious. And so maybe that's what he's doing. He's just trying to go through the process of becoming an official company, but you learn a lot quickly. There's a lot to it. It's not as easy as just cooking something, throwing it into a container and selling it. There's a lot of business aspect to that. So he's currently in the process of doing all the business stuff. I will give you guys an update in the future. Here's his contact information if you want to contact him directly about products. Uh, but as of right now, I don't believe that he's uh, selling anything. Like I said, just waiting for all the official stuff to go through. Uh, but of course, you can get updates from him directly. But I'll give you an updated video down the line when everything's all set up and he's got a website, all that kind of stuff. So the backstory is he sent me a jar of his smoke rings, which he's going to be focusing on mostly. These are other things he's kind of dabbling in. Uh, I think this is a one-time thing he uh, mentioned to me, but the table sauce might be something that's available. But anyway... Send me the jar of pickles. Hey, just want some feedback. Hey Jeff, watch the videos. I, I make these things. Uh, check them out. If you you know like them, let me know. If you don't like them, let me know. And uh, I love them. I eat the whole jar in a day. Um, I know it sounds kind of fat and greedy, but it was not uh, like, okay, I'm going to eat a jar of peppers. I mean, it's not that big of a jar, but what I basically did was I, I tried it. Um, had a couple different uh, pieces. I absolutely loved it. I um, put them away. And then lunchtime rolled around, I had a salad, and I said, oh, perfect. So I got a you know, green salad here, I'm gonna throw some peppers on there. And I'm putting you know, a quarter of the jar on top of the salad. <laughs> then later for dinner, I think I had, uh, I think I had a piece of steak in the grill. And I, same thing, I just put them on top of the steak and I was, I was continuing to kind of pick at it throughout the day. And literally by the end of the day, the jar was completely empty. Um, they were the perfect, in my opinion, the absolutely perfect sweet pepper. It had a little bit of heat, but the heat was so subtle. It was just this little bit of a kind of, I don't know, like a mouth tingle a little bit in the throat. But it's definitely something if you're not into hot, hot stuff, but you like just that little bit of heat, it would really hit that spot for you. It was definitely very tolerable. I wouldn't consider it to be super spicy at all. Um, it was really enjoyable heat. But the actual flavor of the sweet pepper was just through the roof. It was awesome. And I put sweet peppers, uh, at least I have put sweet peppers on all kinds of stuff. You can get really creative with it. You can drain these and chop them up real fine and, and mix it into uh, tuna salad or chicken salad. I mean, you could put these on nachos. You can, I mean, the sky's the limit as far as that stuff goes. But I happen to be a fan of pickled peppers, so it really, really hit the spot. And I gave him that feedback. I said, look, if you sell these things, I mean, they're going to do really well. I really do think it is an amazing product and uh, just really, really delicious. So... He surprised me with this package. I got a note here to read um, a couple days ago, and now I just just kind of getting around to uh, having some time to to try this stuff. So I figured I'd turn the camera on and try it for you guys, and give him his feedback, you know, in a video, which is always easier than typing everything out. So here's the uh, the letter. It says, uh, "Good afternoon, Jeff. Uh, I am so glad that you enjoyed the smoke rings. So I decided to include a second jar, <laughs> like a Dumas." <laughs> The name's Dumas. Uh, I failed to notice that the jar uh, didn't have smooth sides, hence label lumpiness with um, goodness inside. Now the eight ounce bottle of the table sauce included in this box is one of my favorites. Shake the bottle in order to mix the ingredients and it will be perfect for greens, uh, baked chicken, pork chops, or even a salad dressing. The syrup, as I like to call it, will become more dense and sticky with refrigeration. Uh, it's great right now on a spoon by itself, which I'm gonna try right now. I have also included a jar of my new Snow White's Revenge Jelly. Spread it on a warm toasted English muffin and the full flavor profile breaks out. 
uh, smear some on some warm brownies or Oreo cookies, and oh my god. Here's a copy of the text written on the back label. She was dissed by an evil, jealous, apple-laden queen stepmother and cast into an unnatural slumber, grown in the fields and orchards and nurtured by a cohort of Snow's seven closest friends. The seven-pot flavor throughout this jar will lull you into confectionery memories of childhood, but quickly snatch you back to realize that Snow White's revenge, it's no fairy tale. <laughs> that's, that's actually a really awesome description. I like it, but it's scary hearing seven pot. Uh, seven pot peppers are quite spicy, but it's all about, you know, how much you put in there, right? So it says, Jeff, you have been an inspiration for so many hot sauce and cigar recommendations over the years. Uh, my wife and I also listen to your story time while traveling across the state of Georgia. Windows down, audio blasting. Enjoy our blessings from Rich Newton. And then a little blurb on the new cards. So yeah, he's working on cards and labels and all kinds of stuff. I think it's awesome. Thank you so much, Rich. And by the way, he did include this. He doesn't sell these. <laughs> this is just a personal favorite, an acid toast, which I have not yet had. So thank you, Rich. I appreciate that. I will certainly try that in the future. Uh, for all the cigar people, you can post down below if you've had that, what you think of it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I can, I can get behind this product 100%. I am very curious about these. Uh, talking to him uh, earlier this morning, I told him I'm going to be making this video and I wanted to just get some information about like, you know, like when he'll have a website and all kind of stuff, but he's just in the works with it. So there's no real, no real details there as of right now. Peppers I'm not going to try on camera because I'm selfish and I just want to save them and I don't feel like eating um, the peppers right now. Uh, but I am going to try just a little bit of this and I'm going to try a little bit of that. So this is supposed to be a table sauce. He said just good right on a spoon. Um, elevated sweet and sour table sauce. So, let's see, I see some garlic floating around, maybe some pepper, black pepper as well as some other peppers. All right. Okay, wow. Smells good. Smells like a, like a vinaigrette. But, oh, that's a little bit more than I wanted to try. But you can see down in there, if I get the glare out of here, we got little chunks of stuff, some pepper bits and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and try this table sauce. Wow. All right. First off, that is delicious. I'm gonna have to refer back to the note to see what he says to use this with, cause it's like, it's kind of like a vinaigrette, but it's not vinegar heavy at all. It's actually mostly sweet. It's like 90% sweet, 5% uh, heat. 5% you know vinegar and you can taste the garlic in there but the garlic is, is also very subtle so he says uh, perfect for greens oh yeah definitely uh, baked chicken pork chops or even salad dressing salad dressing for sure like especially if you like a sweet vinaigrette you don't like it too kind of tangy uh, yeah I would definitely I would definitely just yeah mix this in with uh, you know the base salad dressing for greens so if you had a bunch of cut up romaine lettuce and some other things in there and just kind of lightly toss, just a little bit. It would go, there's a lot of flavor there. It would go a long way. Um, really, really interesting. Yeah, chicken as well. I don't know about, because first I'm thinking like a marinade, but I think I would just put this directly on cooked chicken. That little bit of heat that's in there, just uh, it just goes away quickly. So it's really nice. I have no tingling right now, nothing, nothing that's carrying on. It's like sweet, heat, done. This is Snow White's Revenge. All right, elevated hard apple cider jelly. Wow. Okay. And you guys already read that part, which was a good description. I did like it. So let's pop this bad boy open. I already smelled this before, so I'm going to have a seal on this jar. Yeah. It was sealed. I had a nice old pop on it. But uh, let's give it another sniff for you guys on camera. And it smells wonderful. God, it smells like um, it smells like cinnamon candy and apple cider, and maybe a little bit of like a, a mold cider. Um, just smells super, super interesting. So I'm gonna dip in here, just get a little bit to taste because it is morning time, and I don't want to have a big old spoonful of jelly. Wow. All right. That's that's very surprising. Um, first of all. He mentioned uh, in the letter this would be good on, like, English muffin. I totally agree. I'm just not eating, you know, bread for breakfast or anything. So 
Unfortunately, I can't try that at the moment. But uh, very, very surprised because that actually <laughs> packs quite a punch. Uh, there's definitely some seven pot in there, a good amount of it. I mean, these, anyone can enjoy those. You have to be a chili head to, to really enjoy this. It is, I don't wanna say it's kicking my butt, but it's, it's waking me up for sure. Um, the flavor is awesome. It's just, just how it smells. It's um, apple heavy, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of those like seasonal, you know, flavors in the background, like maybe nutmeg or something. Uh, you know, very similar to like a, you know, homemade apple cider, whatever you would spice that with. Um, it's really sweet. It is a jelly, but it does pack that punch. I mean, when I first put it in my mouth, you know, kind of swishing around a little bit. All that flavor hit me, and then like the second I swallowed is when that that pepper punch hit me, you know. So it didn't initially taste like it was going to be hot, but the second I swallowed it, just attacked the throat. It, right now it's kind of burning around the mouth. It's not so much in the throat anymore. It's just about a full mouth burn. Uh, but that is delicious. That is scary good. Um, because I can't have bread, I'm not really sure I can have bread, but I'm just staying away from it for the most part. Um, not sure what I would do with that at the moment, but this will certainly sit in my refrigerator until I figure it out. And, uh, I can guarantee you it'll take me a while, but I will certainly finish this jar. That is delicious. It's a shame because I would love for Christina to try that, but she does not do heat. <laughs> at least, at least this kind of heat. She would, that's just a no way. Uh, if I snuck it in her, her food, she would just get mad at me. <laughs> but not everyone is into heat. If you are into heat, that is awesome. He said this was like a kind of experiment. He doesn't know if he's gonna, you know, continue to make this. That This is awesome. I'm telling you, if you continue to do something like that, that would be awesome. Um, just really, really good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he can definitely cook. He can definitely make uh, some condiments and products here. Um, really, really excited to see what he comes up with in the future. I wish him the best of luck. Again, the whole business side of things and the official part of starting a business that's all time consuming and, and costly and you know confusing at first but uh like i said i do wish him the very best the products are really really good and uh, i can definitely see a lot of potential come out with some really cool stuff but even if he doesn't do these other things and he just sticks with the smoke rings those are absolutely delicious so like i said i'll give you guys an update down the road when everything's all squared away and and he's ready to start selling some stuff i'll i'll certainly give you a heads up i have no idea on price points or anything like that now I know he mentioned that he was going to do, uh, you know, some like farmer markets and things like that. I love attending those types of uh, places and this would be something I would certainly have stopped at. You know, if I happened to go to a farmer's market and I saw a tent, you know, for a point blank pepper company, you know, I'd have to stop there and try some stuff. And he had some little samples here. I would have, I would have bought all these. Um, maybe not the table sauce only because I don't know offhand what I would use it for, but I would have tasted this and said, absolutely. I would have tasted this and say, absolutely. Probably bought a couple jars of this, at least a jar of that. Even though that's delicious, like I said, off the top of my head, I'm not sure what I would use it besides, you know, salads, but it is still really, really good. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you soon. Take care.